accepted by a, a, um, a martial arts master and you hear these stories about um, they want to make sure you're loyal and so you have to, you know, sometimes in the Shaolin stories they talk about having to squat in the rain for days and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so like, sure, yeah. To make sure you wanted to be a student? Yeah, they were serious, yeah, yeah. That's true, there's a lot of stories about that stuff. Uh, so, you know, that and also the concern about whether he was really willing to teach me openly, since I'm not Chinese, and um, even also when, when he would teach me, if he would teach me, um, was he um, doing it in a way that myself or other people could understand and get it, you know? So those were my concerns when I went there. 
um, happily, um, one of my first experiences was um, we, well, the first class we did was a forum class, and the second class was a push hands class. And I'll never forget because he took the biggest guy who was um, probably at least four or five inches taller than me and 250, something like that. And um, he took his one student, I, I call her Liz, <laughs> excuse me, I call her Little Carol because she's only about that tall. And he said, you can push her, you can pull her, you can throw her. Don't punch her, or she'll punch you back. <laughs> so, no, that's, that's a little odd. But sure enough, for the next few minutes, she threw this guy around the room. And as I said, she was this little um, American woman, New Yorker, born and bred. And um, so. You're getting kind of emotional. Yeah, this no, story. sorry. Uh, I, I didn't have to ask my questions because I had my answers. Yeah, yeah. I knew right away. Yes, that he was going to be teaching you openly. Yes. Not holding back. And I knew that night that I, I this is why I get a little emotional. I knew that night I thought I'm going to kiss you. Mm-hmm. Well, that comes from love and respect. Not only of Grandmaster Chen, but of Carol as well. Yes, two wonderful people. Yep, I met Carol too, and I like her a lot. She's a very loving person, but I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. <laughs> um, I have a couple other stories about her, but for another time. Another time. Um, one last question before we start. Sure. Um, do you have a favorite type G form position that you enjoy doing, maybe more than others? Actually, I don't really have a, a favorite position. Um, because of the way I was taught with uh, Master Chan, Dr. Tao, and Bibi Chan, um, I'm more interested in how to execute the movement uh, rather than a specific movement because the idea is all the movements should have the same feeling and quality. The, the hands should go with the body and uh, the mind should lead the energy. So um, all the postures um, just feel wonderful to me. I know I enjoy um, that two-person um, martial arts movement that you taught me some time ago. And I remember we had to do it over and over and over and over until I got it. And um, maybe we can do that at the end. Oh, you're talking about the application? Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Although I don't know, I don't know, are we allowed to do that with social distancing? Hmm. Hmm, I have to think maybe about that. Maybe if we put our mask on. <laughs> oh, okay. And we can put gloves on too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's a thought. All right, so um, why don't I let you take it from here and uh, you can start your exercises and um, I'll go over there and okay. try not to bump the camera. Okay. Um, I guess um, what I want to start with today is um, the way we normally start a class in my studio we do what we call loosening up exercises. So I'll demonstrate them, I'll do them sort of slow at first and then kind of go into a more normal speed. So you're basically just going to stand with your feet about hip width and you're gonna shift your weight and turn your arms, let your hands go around your body, shift and turn, like so. Nice and easy. Now as you speed it up and get into a little more normal, and you notice there's a little sinking, and then we start to let the arms wrap a little more. This is also a very good little massage for the body. And again, this is the way we start out our class, and many people start this way. And you can get a little more into the momentum if you want, and get the arms really swinging. But this is the idea. Again, it's very simple, shifting the weight and swinging the arms. The next one we do is a front to back swing. 
which is again similar. I'm shifting my weight and turning, but now I'm letting the arms go out. So on the left leg, the right hand goes forward and the right leg, left hand forward and so on. And then again, you can speed this up and get a little momentum into it. And then I have a little fun one that I'm just going to demonstrate quickly because when you get the idea of this, you can do this. And that's really nice for loosening up the arms and getting the hips a little loosened. Now I'm going to do a little loosening up of the legs. And this is where you want to stand on one leg and swing at the hip. Now, if you're having trouble with balance, let me get this out here quickly. You can take a chair, or again, the back of your couch or something, and hold on to it and allow you to get a little. I was told to go back a little, sorry. <laughs> and swing at the hip, okay? And we're not trying to swing high or do any big stretching, we're just trying to loosen up the hip. The next thing is a little side to side of the hip. Again, I'm not trying to do some big high side movement, I'm just loosening that hip a little. And at the same time, strengthening this leg and working on balance, which you could do by simply not touching anything. Then you go to the knee. You make a little circle at the knee. Circle the other direction, clockwise, counterclockwise. Circle at the ankle. Nice circles on the ankle. The other way a few times. Then I go up and down. And side to side. And then, of course, you can repeat on the other leg, same thing, holding on or not. With practice, you'll find you can even hold on just with one finger, just to give you a little stability. Side to side. Notice I'm not trying to cross across my leg. I'm bringing it just about to where my leg is. Because if you go here, you tend to twist the hip. So try to just go to even with the other leg. Then we go swinging the knee. Make the circle. And again, you can do as many in each direction as you feel you, you uh, wish to. Circling the ankle, the other way, up and down, and side to side. Okay, so that's our basic loosening up exercises. Okay, um, the next thing, I guess, uh, some people said that the footwork exercise was good, but um, they said they would like to see my whole body when I'm doing this. So we're gonna demonstrate that, that again, um, and we'll try to make sure we uh, keep my head and feet in position. So, you're gonna start out with your heels together, like so. And again, there's no real hand movement on this. You just keep your hands kind of at your side. You can also put them on your hips if you want to feel what your hips are doing. And you just simply begin by sinking into the right leg, bending the knees. Step over hip width with the left foot outside edge straight. Shift and turn to the right. Turn it on the right heel, turning the body. Now again, normally we could do the form from here, but I'm just going to turn back out on the heel shift to the right, one small step forward with the, with the left foot, shift and turn to the right, turning on the right heel, all the way still on the left leg, pick up the right heel, turn to the right, step over with the right, shift and turn to the left, turning on the left heel. I'll do that one more time, pick up the left, turn and step over with the left, shift to the left, making a little right turn, turning on the right heel, pick up the right heel, 
turn to the right, step over with the right, shift and turn to the left, turning on the left heel. Now to change direction, you shift back, turn right toes in, shift to the right, step around, heels together, then hip width, and one step straight forward. Shift to the left, making a little right turn. Turning on the right heel. Pick up the right heel. Turn and step over. Shift to the right, making a little left turn. Turning on the left heel. And relax. And that is a simple little uh, footwork exercise that I teach here in my school. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, the next exercise I would like to present is called the monkey. And this exercise is a walking or stepping exercise. So I'm gonna walk it across the floor and back. I'm not gonna go the full length, I'm just gonna do a few steps. You can repeat this as long or as many times back and forth as you wish. So start with your feet about at heels together. Relax. One, sink into the right leg, exhaling. As you inhale, step out with the left and open the fingers. Now exhale, shift the weight, close the fingers and lower the hands. Inhale, raise the hands up, open the fingers. Exhale, shift and close the fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now to finish, bring the back foot up. Inhale, circle the hands up. Exhale as you sink the hands down. Now I'll turn around and do the same thing going back the other way. Heels together, take a nice breath in. As you exhale, sink into the right leg, bending the knees. Inhale, step out, open the fingers. Exhale, slowly shift the weight, lower the hands and close the fingers. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to smooth it out. Inhale. Exhale. So there should be no real pause. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Whichever foot is behind, that's the foot you bring up, heels together, inhale, and exhale. And that's the monkey, uh, which is a uh, old Taoist Qigong exercise uh, coming from a sequence called Five Animal Frolics. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Today I'm going to um, show you the first 20 movements of the Yang style short form 60 movement form as taught to me by William Chen. I will first show the, the 20 movements from behind which is the way most of my students are used to practicing it with me. Then I'll turn around and demonstrate the same movements facing the camera so that you can see what my hands are doing as I move. This is the, the first 20 movements. Heels together, relax. Remember to breathe. One, sink into the right leg, bending the knees. Step over with the left. Shift and turn to the right. Turn the body to make the right foot turning on the heel. Preparation, even out the weight. 
Bring up the hands to just below your own shoulder level. Draw in thumbs towards the shoulders. Lift the fingers in the air. Let the hands drop down. Turn the palms in. Beginning. Shift and turn to the left. Turn and make the ball on the right side. Shift to the right. Small step straight forward with the left. Shift to the left. Turn in on the right heel. Right hand down, left hand up and out, ward off left. Make a ball on the left side. Pick up the right heel. Turn to the right, step over with the right. Shift to the right. Turn in on the left heel, bring the right hand up so you have a ball in front of you, ward off right. Turn to the right corner. Shift back left hand under the right elbow. Turn and lower the hands. Roll away. Raise the hands up. Right hand out, left hand in close. Shift to the right. Turn and touch left palm to right wrist. Press, shift back, palms down, draw the hands in, shift forward, and push the hands halfway out, like holding a little tray. Shift back, leave the hands out there. Turning on the right heel, shift to the right, and make the cranes beak. Thumb and fingers together. Turn and stretch out. Step around, shift the weight, raise the left hand, turn in on the right heel, turn the left palm away. Single whip, pick up the right heel, turn and open up the right hand, stick out the right foot on the heel, lifting hands, draw hands and foot in. Step out right foot, left hand, Shift and bring left hand by the right shoulder. Turn slightly and open the hands. Shoulder stroke. Pick up the left heel. Left foot comes out on the toe. Left hand down. Right hand up. White crane. Left hand comes up. Right hand circles down. Palm up. Turn and fold left hand by the right shoulder. Turn back left hand by the right hip. Right hand by the side of the head. Step over with the left. Shift to the left. Turning on the right heel, left hand brushes across the leg. Crossover, number one. Little step back, turn the heel in. Shift back and bring the left hand up. Come across on the left heel, right hand by the elbow, play the guitar. Turn right hand down, left hand by the right shoulder. Turn back, left hand by the right hip, right hand by the side of the head. Step over with the left. Shift to the left. Turning on the right heel, left hand rushes across the leg. Cross over number two. Shift back, right hand drops down and becomes a fist. Turn out on the left. Shift to the left. Half step with the right. Shift to the right, right fist by the left shoulder, left hand by the side of the head. Step, chop, back fist to the right corner. Shift to the left, turn the left palm down. Turn it on the right heel, drop the left hand, and punch. Little step back. Shift back, right hand opens up, left hand comes up. Bring left hand in, foot in, touching the wrist. Push the hands down. Needle to the C bottom, bend, and come up. Step with the left. Shift and turn to the left. And turning from left to right, spread arms like fan. Shift back and bring the left hand in. Turn it on the left heel. Shift to the left. Left hand by the right shoulder, right hand becomes a fist. Turn a little and then bring the foot over and the fist up and around. Strike with fist. Shift and step. Shift to the left. Turn and open the right hand over the back of the left hand. Chop with fingers. Turn to the left corner. Shift back, crossing the hands in front of you. 
Step back to parallel. Shift to the left, separating the hands. Step out with the right. Shift, turn the palms down. Push the hands halfway out. Withdraw and push. Shift back, leaving the hands out there. Turning on the heels, separate the hands. Shift to the right, dropping the hands down. Step around to parallel, cross right hand underneath. Bring up the hands, crossing hands. And for now, we'll fold in and down. All right, very good. Now I'd like to do the same thing. Uh, this time I'll do it facing the camera. So again, start with the heels together. Relax. One, sink into the right leg, bending the knees. Two, step over hip width with the outside edge straight. Three, shift and turn. For turning on the right heel, turning the body to make the foot turn in. Preparation, one, even out the weight. Two, bring up the hands just below shoulder level. Three, draw in thumbs towards the shoulders. Four, lift the fingers in the air. Five, let the hands drop down. And six, turn the palms in. Beginning, one, shift and turn to the left. Two, turn out on the right heel, make the ball on the right side. Three, shift to the right. Four, small step forward with the left. Five, shift to the left. Six, turning in on the right heel. Right hand down, left hand up and out. Ward off left. One, make the ball on the left side. Two, pick up the right heel. Three, turn and step over. Four, shift the weight. And five, turning in on the left heel. Bring the right hand up, ward off right. One, still on the right leg, turn to the right corner. Two, shift back, left hand under the elbow. Three, turn and lower the hands, roll away. One, raise the hands up, right hand out, left hand in close. Two, shift the weight. Three, turn and touch left palm to right wrist, press. One, shift back, palms down. Two, draw the hands in, separating them. Three, shift forward. And four, push the hands halfway out, like holding a little tray. One, shift back, leave the hands out there. Two, turn in on the right heel. Three, shift and make the crane's beak. Thumb and fingers together. Four, stretch out. Five, step around with the left. Six, shift and raise the left hand palm facing you. And turning in on the right heel, turn the left palm away. Single whip, one, pick up the right heel. Two, turn and open up the right hand. Three, stick out the right foot on the heel, left hand by the elbow, lifting hand. One, draw hands and foot in. Two, step out right foot, left hand out to the side. Three, shift and bring left hand on right shoulder. Four, turn and open the hands, shoulder stroke. One, pick up the left heel. Two, left foot comes out on the toe. Left hand down, right hand up, white crane spreads its wings. One, left hand up, right hand circles down, palm up. Two, turn and fold left hand by the right shoulder. Three, turn back, left hand drops down, right hand comes up by the side of the head. Four, step over with the left. Five, shift to the left. And six, turning in on the right heel, left hand brushing across the leg, crossover number one. Little step back with the right foot, let the heel turn in. Two, shift back and bring the left hand up. Three, come across on the left heel, right hand by the elbow, play the guitar. One, turn, right hand down, palm up. Two, left hand by the right shoulder. Two, turn back, switching the hands, left hand down by the right hip, right hand by the side of the head. Three, step over. Four, shift the weight. And five, turning in on the right heel. Crossover number two.
One, shift back and make a fist with the right hand. Two, turn out on the left. Three, shift and half step. Four, shift to the right. Right fist by the left shoulder, left hand by the side of the head. Five, step, chop, and back fist. Six, shift to the left, turning left palm down. And seven, turning on the right heel, drop the left hand and punch. One, little step back. Two, shift back, right hand opens up, left hand comes up. Three, bring left hand and foot in, touching the wrist. Four, push the hands down, needle to the C bottom. One, bend and come up. Two, step with the left. Three, shift and turn to the left. And for turning from left to right, slightly turning, spread arms like fan. One, shift back and bring the left hand in. Two, turn it on the left heel. Three, shift to the left. Left hand by the right shoulder, right hand becomes a fist. Four, turn and strike with fist. Five, shift and step. Six, shift, and seven, chop with fingers. One, turn to the corner. Two, shift back, crossing the hands in front of you. Three, step back with the left. Four, shift to the left and separate the hands. Five, step out with the right. Six, shift to the right. And seven, push the hands halfway out. Withdraw and push. One, shift back, leave the hands out there. Two, turn it on the right heel, separating the hands. Three, shift to the right, dropping the hands down. Four, step around to parallel, cross right hand underneath. And five, bring up the hands, crossing hands. And for now, we'll fold in. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Shay Shay.